All right, guys, it's the second annual Vintage Awards. Let me get set up here. Hope everybody's in here. I'm excited to say these winners. Thanks to everybody who participated. Everybody really showed out for this awards ceremony. Uh, lots of votes. Definitely not gonna be able to do it like this next year because it was just thousands of votes and it took me days, hours of counting up votes. It was crazy. So not gonna be able to do that next year. But um, I'm gonna take a more hands-on approach to the Vintage Awards Instagram. Uh, I had helpers with me this past year. That really took a lot of the pressure off of it for me. But uh, I noticed that uh, when I started taking over the Vintage Awards, starting beginning of this year to be able to like keep track of all the votes and all that stuff, I kind of got a groove on how to handle 1980-something co and the Vintage Awards. So I'm definitely going to be more hands-on this year and just running more votes. Uh, so let me just get right into it. Second Annual Vintage Awards. Uh, the Vintage Awards was created last year to shine a light on all the people that put in a lot of hard work, all the amazing finds uh, from different thrifters and collectors. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for making this fun and exciting. And with these awards, I kind of want to do the same thing. I want to make it fun by not only like shining light on winners like Thrifter of the Year, Best Piece, Best Come Up, but also making it fun with other categories like Best Handle. Um, uh, and best handle is basically whoever has like a clever name or something like that. These are the Vintage Awards for 2019 uh, the categories. You're probably asking yourself, why are we going over 2019 people when it's already 2020, when it's like March already? And the answer to that is, I wanted you guys to be really involved in the process for selecting the nominees. So last year what I did was, I got with some people who are in the community, came up with a list of names, and made the categories and nominated those people ourselves. Uh, but I realized that when we did that, even though we thought we had a nice comprehensive understanding of like everyone in the community and what they're doing, we realized there was a lot of people who got overlooked. And what was great about the Vintage Awards in addition to shining a light on all these people who are putting in a lot of work, was I was introduced to a lot of new accounts who were quite frankly badass. So. This year I wanted to do the same thing and I wanted you guys to be a part of it from the beginning so I started off by asking your guys suggestions for each category. Then from there we narrowed it down to 10 nominees and then from there we narrowed it down to the winners. So this year's Vintage Awards is completely up to the voters and like I said earlier, thank you guys for all your participation. You guys made it really big and uh, I'm really proud about what I'm doing with the Vintage Awards. So without any further ado, I think everybody who's going to watch is in here right now. Uh, let's go ahead and get into the first category and the first category is best come up so for best come up that's like best haul uh, not a single piece but just like a massive haul so when we came up with that category you know we were looking at we wanted it to be best find at first but we couldn't I feel like a haul wouldn't be able to uh, would be too much to measure up against a single piece that was found in the thrift the crazy piece so we chop that up into two different categories so that now becomes best come up which is like a crazy haul and best piece which we'll get into next but right now we're working on best come up best haul that crazy haul of like tons of pieces so here we go the first nominee is Cameron Romance and he got the crazy denim haul lots of uh, big E's and pretty much blue gold as they call it up next we got sneaker mo easy with the crazy rap tee haul I think he got that haul like January 1st, which was crazy. Then we got Ben and Jamin for his Pink Floyd haul. I'd never seen so many Pink Floyd tees in one haul, and he had some pretty unique ones that I'd never seen before, so shout out Ben and Jamin. Vintage Rag House for a crazy 600 piece Gore Tex hat haul. That was insane. Um, shout out Vintage Rag House. 812 Vintage for the drug tees. I feel like I saw those tees all over the community. Everybody got a piece of that haul. That was insane. 812 Vintage drug tees. Get Retro Anime Tee Haul. That's crazy. I think he had to stand on the roof of his house to get the picture of all the tees together. Dog Check and Untamed Vintage. They got over 160 Harley tees, 44 of which were 3D emblem. That's insane. Taylor Clark Marvel Tee Haul. One of, this year was a big year for Marvel tees and I think one of the first hauls that I saw anybody post, or probably the only one in 2019, was Taylor Clark. So shout out Taylor Clark. 
And last one on the last last nominee here is a Remnants Vintage for the Hall of Boxing Tees. And I'm gonna let you guys know. Here it is. Best come up. 2019. I taped this one pretty good. Sneaker mo easy, baby. Man right there. This guy right here won like three categories, last vintage awards. He got Thrifter of the Year, Best Rap Tees, I think one other one. Uh, he was gun he was in the category for Best Hall last year too. Uh, for again, Rap Tees, Rap Tee Man. But uh, he lost it to David Meets World, but I guess he came back the following year and got it. Sneaker Mo Easy, best come up, best haul for the rap tees that he got on like January 1st. Crazy that he locked that one down right at the beginning of the year. So shout out Sneaker Mo Easy, my boy, Anthony. Appreciate you, uh, all the work that you do. Up next, I'm gonna just go straight into the next category. All right, up next we got uh, best piece. And before we go into the best piece, um, nominees i just want to give a quick little shout out to a couple honorable mentions some people that got a lot of votes as well uh magic moments vintage for the akira all over print vintage reno for nike bags and the metallica blood and semen uh vintage culture snow beach and dario's archive for the silver surfer galactus mega print all right here we go best piece up first we got future past nyc for the hand painted x-men crazy mega print x-men piece hand painted by him very uh very dope very unique up next we got mishmash vintage weapon x this is a liquid blue t-shirt that i uh for some reason got widely known in the community as the weapon x it has uh from what i've been told it doesn't really have any connection to marvel and it's not a weapon x shirt i'm not really sure how it got that name but I just think it's cool that that name kind of took on itself. So I'm going to go ahead and refer to it in this awards as um, as the Weapon X. So Future Pass, Hand Painted X-Men, Mishmash, got the Weapon X. Up next, we got HTX Vintage for the Snow Beach. KC Archive for the Sade. <laughs> All right, back to it. Where did I leave off at? So I got Future Pass. Hand painted X Men Mishmash got the Weapon X, HTX got the Snow Beach, KC Archive got the Shaw Day, uh, Yusef the Moorish for his Levi's Type 2 jacket in pristine condition, or is it Type 1? I'm not really sure. Not really a, a true vintage guy, but Yusef the Moorish, all I know is that that jacket is insane. The condition on that is insane. It looks like it's brand new. So shout out Yusef on that one. Uh, Salute 24 7 Vintage for his Kurt Cobain Memorial Bootleg Tee. Uh, first come, first serve, 1985 for the Aaliyah, one in a million T, bin find. Uh, Connor Mamea for the Magneto Mega Print, crazy one. That's one that like made a lot of, uh, made a lot of noise when it, when it was found, or posted actually. Uh, all over prints, Guru Rap T. And lastly, Thrift 814 for his Pulp Fiction find. All right, and the winner is, Mishmash Vintage with the Weapon X, the Liquid Blue. Congratulations, Mishmash Vintage. That's a crazy piece, and that like that kind of just like shows how much um, of a boom the vintage Marvel community had in 2019. Like for that piece to win over, there's some really great pieces on that list, and actually more than one is a, a Marvel tee. So that just shows how much Marvel influenced the community in 2019 and uh, it was really interesting to see that. On to the next category, we got best curation. So for best curation, that's basically uh, anybody who, it's not just thrift finds. They go out of their way to curate a certain aesthetic, a certain look. They gravitate to a certain type of piece solely. For example, our first nominee, the Vault MCR, known for dead stock music tees. That's what you'll most likely always find on his Instagram. Up next we have Rebound Classics, known for his video game tees, Marvel, childhood cartoon classics, and other uh, community grails. Uh, Vintage Heatwave, also big on you know, our community's best grails, but also known for his rap tees, polo, skate tees. 
Up next we have Fats Buddha Spot, known for skate tees as well. Crazy collection of hookups that you can find on his IG. Then we have Never in Fashion, a lot of uh, reworking of vintage. Earthling VIP, their curation is as, as assorted as a stores should be, but still every piece that they post is a banger and people really love that curation that they bring. Find BK, known for his art tees, skate tees, and just edgy content t-shirts that come with a really nice background, uh, blue background that you've come to know of him and his photos. Uh, Vu Vintage, uh, Nike curation, crazy vintage Nike curation. Uh, someone that I just got introduced to this year because of the Vintage Awards, and I'm glad that that happened. Thank you guys for suggesting him, making him a nominee. Um, Full Court Classics, just the OG posting crazy stuff from outerwear, wrap tees, skate tees, vintage Stussy, vintage Nike. And the Heat Broker, who just had a crazy year this year, blew up, went through the roof follower-wise, known for his snack tees and video game tees. And now for the winner of Best Curation. Vu Vintage. Vintage Nike collector, curator. Congratulations. Crazy collection. Make sure you check out Vu Vintage Best Curator. Up next, we have Best Style Category. This is one of my favorite categories because you have uh, it gets to really, it's more than just posting t-shirts. You get to know the people, the collectors on a more personal level because they show themselves, they show how they wear the vintage. And it's interesting to see the different styles from thrifter to collector, from person to person. So I'm really excited to introduce this category. The nominees for best style are Mama Earthling, Being August, Mexican Ice Cream, Mr. Paul Cantu, Ryan Don't Worry, Single Stitch Mitch, Space Tigre, Yatsapong, Watch You Die, and Astro Man. Let's see who the winner's gonna be. I tape these up pretty good, I guess. And the winner is Mama Earthling. Congratulations, Anna Earth. Appreciate you and everything that you do. Great picks. Go check out Mama Earthling, winner of Best Style 2019. Congratulations. All right, up next we have Rookie of the Year. So for Rookie of the Year, um, this is a great category because you get people who just started in 2019 or maybe they started the year before but really got a foothold in 2019 and made a name for themselves. New people to the game who bring a new flavor and uh, we're gonna recognize them because there's nothing better than when you're first starting out in this game than to have someone shout you out or just recognize you for the work when you're trying to make a name for yourself. So here we go, Rookie of the Year. Nominees are Rebound Classics, Find BK, Like Butter, Earthling VIP, Vintage Black, Extra Time, Lax, Backtrack, Never in Fashion, and Red Rum Retro. And the winner of Rookie of the Year is... Lax Vintage, for your votes. Congratulations, Lax Vintage. Appreciate your work. And congrats on being Rookie of the Year. <laughs> Don't laugh, G. All right, here we go. Best Photos. All right, so for Best Photos, um, this was, I used to say that it was a category of who has the nicest photos, makes you want to throw on the shirt, makes you want to buy the shirt. But I also like people who get very creative with it. So it could be people who use a certain background, uh, like um, one of the nominees, BK, Find BK, he always uses the signature blue background. Um, it could be someone who just takes really nice clean pics, like uh, one of the nominees, Us Vintage. Um, just different styles and taking photos are very interesting and so now we're going to get into the category to see who's going to be the winner of that. So the nominees for best photos are Union 45, Us Vintage, Ivory House, Heat Wave, Vintage Heat Wave, Marvel Trading Post, 
Never in fashion. Full court classics. Find BK. Sober sport. Karen Gooney boys. And the winner for best photos. Sober Sport, congratulations, brother. Uh, super hyped that Sober Sport won. Uh, different nominee from uh, a different style of taking photos from everyone on the list. Uh, it's just something different, not the clean, not the same background. Just uh, he has a he'll just like go up to random people in the street and have them hold up the shirt while he takes a picture of it. Uh, real like gritty looking photos and just a unique take on you know vintage t-shirts and, and the photos that you see all over the community right now so I'm super hyped that he won congratulations you deserve it dog all right up next we have best handle this is uh, one of those fun categories and it could be uh, a funny handle handles like your name on Instagram so it's like it could be funny it could be clever it could be something that sounds badass but you know it's got to be something uh, that hits people a certain way so here we go best handle the nominees are Peter Thriffin. Uh, You've got Grail after the famous 90s saying that came out when email was introduced largely. Uh, the, the slogan was like, you've got mail. So this is you've got Grail, that's great. Thrifted Fuego, that sounds badass. The Chubby Chicano, hilarious. Baldy Locks Thrifts, hilarious. Slost and Found, his actual name is Sloss. So he just put it as lost and found, which, you know, is a good way to applies to the vintage community since we're picking up people's lost items or donated items. Uh, shirts my wife hates. Hilarious. The Savage Army, like the uh, Salvation Army. Daniel Radcliffe, like Daniel Radcliffe of Harry Potter fame. And Vintage Marvel Addict. And if you ever meet Vintage Marvel Addict, shout out Chris, you'll see why they call him that. He's just so hyped up on collecting uh, Marvel, that name goes with him so much. I'm pretty sure I've seen him scratching his neck when he talks about Marvel. Just kidding, brother. I love you. Uh, there can only be one winner, though. So best handle winner is... Chubby. The Chubby Chicano. Congratulations, brother, on winning best handle. Uh, I'd want to know more about that name and how you came up with it. That's pretty hilarious. So congratulations to Chubby Chicano on winning Best Handle 2019 Vintage Awards. All right, up next we got, uh, so this category that's up next is like in the Oscars, Best Film or Best Actor, Best Actress. This is like the main award. This is Thrifter of the Year, Best Thrifter. So uh, as I said when I put it out to vote, I want Thrifter of the Year to be something not just for people who are in the thrift stores, but this, in 2019, we saw the rise of curators, collectors, people who do online sniping, online thrifters. And so I want this award to reflect uh, all those different types of way of procuring vintage. And as you're gonna tell from the nominees, it worked because we have people who are in the thrift and people who are online curators and just all putting up heat, all killing shit. So let's get into it. Nominees for best thrifter are NY Vintage 516, The Heat Broker, The College Picker, Rebound Classics, Motivated Streetwear, Sneaker Mo Easy, Earthling VIP, Thrifty J Webb, Mr. Paul Cantu, and Lax Vintage. Lax Vintage also won Rookie of the Year. Let's see if he can take Thrifter of the Year too. Here we go. 2019 Vintage Awards Thrifter of the Year is the College Picker. Congratulations, bro. So this is another person that I got introduced to this year because of uh, Vintage Awards suggestions and nominating. You guys gave me his name. And uh, I gotta say, he's one of my new favorite follows because uh, he's putting a lot of info out there. Uh, he's, he, he seems to me like that dude that, and we all know this guy when you're at the thrift that isn't just looking for clothes. He's looking at books, he's looking at gadgets, he's looking at like the household items because he knows he can get money out of everything. He knows the values of certain things and uh, he's just like an all around hustler. And that's what I, I, I see uh, the college picker as uh, just because 
yeah, he puts it right there on his story, runs giveaways, looks like you can go to him for help if you have questions. Really cool dude, and like I said, one of my new favorite follows. So the College Picker, congratulations. You have won Thrifter of the Year. And when you follow him, you'll see why. Up next, we got Best Store. Now, this is a very important category because not only does he let you know what stores are dope in the vintage community, but also uh, we get to shout out the city that they're from. So we put on for that city. So in addition to naming the nominees, I'm also gonna give you the cities that they're from. So here we go. Best store, Woe Town, San Diego, California. Music City Vintage, Nashville, Tennessee. Treehouse Vintage, Davis, California. Full Core Classics, Clearwater, Florida. Vintage Banana, Louisville, Kentucky. Vice, Iowa City, Iowa. Amigos, Laredo, Texas. Indigo, Vintage, Berkeley, California. Good Times, Charlotte, Charlotte, North Carolina. And Sweet Zero Dot Us, Corvallis, Oregon. And the winner for Best Store, Vice, Vice, Iowa City. Congratulations on winning Best Store. Iowa City Stand Up, congratulations, you got one. Vice, hope to uh, visit that store someday too. Just from looking at it on Instagram, a lot of killer stuff, great curation, and uh, sucks they're so far away from me. All right, up next we got, uh, down to the last two categories, up next we got Best Women's Vintage Account. This is a new category for the Vintage Awards uh, suggested to me by Thrift Shark. Shout out Thrift Shark for uh, suggesting this category. She's also going to be a nominee too. But uh, this is great because, you know, we. Uh, I never thought to do like a gender classifying category because I thought if you get a great piece, you get a great piece. Doesn't matter your gender. If you get a great haul, it doesn't matter who you are. A great haul is a great haul, and so on and so forth. But uh, because we do a lot of t-shirts. Um, it's, it stays strictly to men's vintage, I noticed. So I wanna know, because we're in the thrift, we see the, uh, the ladies getting the women's vintage, probably clocking more dough than us too, than, than the men do off you know t-shirts a lot of times. And they're hustlers too. So I wanted to recognize female uh, thrifters or, or any thrifter that shops for female vintage clothing and shine some light on them for all the hard work that they do. And these are the nominees for Best Women's Vintage. Thrifty Love. Goodwill Hunting Vintage. Mama Earthling. I Am Muse Shop. Thrift Shark. Shop Stranger. High Christian. Shop Wrinkles. Old Moon Vintage. And Bygone Supply Co. And the winner of Best Women's Vintage is... Thrift Shark, congratulations. Yeah. Thrift Shark gave me the suggestion for this category. I went along with it and she won it. She probably knew she was gonna win it. No, I'm just kidding. The voting was actually right neck and neck and a lot of great votes. A lot of people showed up, participated in this one. And uh, yeah, congratulations to Thrift Shark. Check her out, Best Women's Vintage Winner, Vintage Awards. All right, now for the last category, we got Best Marvel. Now this category here is uh, gonna be a wild card category going forward. Last year it was Best Rap Tees. This year I changed it to Best Marvel. Next year, what's gonna be the new thing that's gonna blow up? I don't know, but that will be the new category. So this is gonna be a wild card category that I'll be switching every year depending on uh, hype and popularity of, of in the vintage community. In 2019 we saw a major crazy rise in uh, Marvel Tees. So it's only right that we have a category for the best Marvel tease collector. Now, before I go ahead and announce the nominees, I just want to say a quick apology to my boy Steven, Cerebro Vintage. Everybody go check out Cerebro Vintage. He helped me compile the list for the best vintage Marvel accounts. And on my end, I made a mistake where when I was counting the votes, I didn't count any votes towards him because he didn't include himself on the list. So I, I was going off of this master list that didn't include him. I wasn't able to put him into the Vintage Awards. My mistake, I apologize, but there is a reason why I went to him for this list. And that is because he is a leader in the Vintage Marvel community and someone that you should definitely check out. 
Uh, just because he's not a nominated on here doesn't mean that he shouldn't have been. And again, I apologize, Stephen. Please forgive me. My mistake. Public apology. That being said, we're going to go ahead and get into the best Marvel uh, category. And the nominees are as follows. Vintage Marvel Addict. Shop Monarch Studios. Future Past NYC. Grail on Grail. Rebound Classics. Vintage Gene. Vintage Von Doom. Astro Man. Marvel Trading Post. And Secondhand Steez. And the winner for Best Marvel is Marvel Trading Post. Yo, yo. Congratulations, Marvel Trading Post. This is the homie right here. One of the first accounts that I saw posting uh, Marvel pieces. Um, and had an account dedicated towards Marvel. I'm a big fan of Marvel pieces, uh, Marvel comic books, the movies, all that. I'm a super geek for that. And so when I saw his account, I followed immediately. I've been following Marvel Trading Post since he had like probably one or 200 followers, something small like that. Uh, Cause I was just hyped to see all the different pieces that were gonna come out of it. So super hyped that he got this Marvel Trading Post. Congratulations on winning best Marvel tees. That's gonna conclude the second annual Vintage Awards. And I want to end it by saying thank you guys for all your participation, everybody who puts in work, who tags the Vintage Awards on their finds and submits them to us for us to repost, everybody who voted, who participated, and um, yeah, all the response from the community, it's really great. We will definitely be having another Vintage Awards next year. And that's it, ran out of things to say. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.